I'm not sure how you guys are in terms of movie trivia, but we're going to play a short version of one of those games. <laughs> Edgar will win this. Yeah, Edgar will win to you. We tried to make it so it wasn't just playing to his base of knowledge. But so what it is is this is going to oh, so be. Also, Azu and Ansel are younger than me and John, so so you know we shouldn't hold that Wait, against him. What? Yeah. <laughs> To be honest, I hadn't seen a movie before I did this one, yeah. and it was like Edgar who which kept name dropping all these movies, and I was like, okay, I need to watch movies now. He, he asked really me for a list this. of movies, and I gave him my list of a thousand favorite movies, and he was like, narrow it down. Like, okay, <laughs> I was let like, me, I, let me I give you twenty. <laughs> I haven't seen like a hundred <laughs> movies. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll, give, I'll give I'll give you I'll give you a list. His thousand favorite. Favorite. Yeah. Right. Favorite. Only favorite. Yeah. So this game. It's called Baby Driver, movies about babies and dri and or drivers. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. That's good. All right. So we're going to pity in its Jeopardy style, so I'm going to start reading it as soon as what you know. What is Look Who's Talking To? Exactly. <laughs> What's the bu How do we buzz? What? Yeah. So, buzz. Just yell it out. Oh, just yeah. right just yell you it just, out. You can just sure. yell it out. Right. If I can get one, I'll be really proud of myself. Yeah, same. Here we go. A 1987 film starring Diane Keaton as a career... What is Baby Boom? Baby Boom. What is? Uh, what, I, the, Jeopardy is not a UK game show, so, okay. We were born in the Let's call that a draw, we both, we both said it. <laughs> Question two. A 2000 Nicolas Cage film where he is forced to steal cars in order to save... What is gone, gone in 60, 60 seconds? seconds? Oh, in time. Wow. I think that's another photo finish. Jesus. That was a very right. cool I think I've actually seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of a movie that Nicolas Cage is that, that had a baby. And Raising the Arizona. Yeah, it was but like Raising Arizona, but not 2000. Yeah. <laughs> All right, question three. This is going to be a tougher one. This might be playing to Edgar's strengths. A 1971 film about a car delivery driver named Kowalski. Uh, what is Vanishing Point? Correct. Wow, dude. Yep. Who directed that? Richard Sarafan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. All right. Who was the first the AD? Challenger. Yeah. <laughs> Vanishing right. Point. Number four. Good title. In this 1985 film, three bachelors find themselves... What is Three Men and a Baby? Uh, we, can I say that? Can I disqualify that and say that Three Men and the Baby is 1987? Check it. Uh, <laughs> is it 987? He sure? said 85, it's 87. It? All right, we're going to check that one. Might be oh, three, men, three Men and a Little Lady. No, no, Three Men and the Baby is definitely okay. 1987. Yes, I told you. Wow. wow. <laughs> that is a drop. Wow. Yeah. The mic wow. moment right there. Right there. I was yeah. thrown off by the year. If you want to drop this, here. No, it's okay. Jesus, Edgar. All right, here we go. This one, I feel good. I think we all, you guys all have a fighting chance on this one. You ready? Number five. This 2007 movie featured a snarky teenager who upon... What is Juno? Pregnant. Stop, he didn't even finish the question. That's insane. how we play it in was the it UK. Really Juno? 2007? It was, yeah, Juno, 2007. Oh, wow. Uh, although now, Edgar's got me ago. doubting every single... That is 2007, second. you're correct. Okay. <laughs> all right, you know what? We're going to have... A, this is going to be the Edgar sits out this next question. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> question six. In this 2011 movie, Dominic Toretto and his gang of outlaws are tasked with their most ambitious job yet, a massive Come heist on. operation. Ask him for Which one? 2011. Two? Six or years ago. No. Like three. Go for it. It's Jeopardy. <laughs> what is Fast Five? Correct. Wow. <laughs> I only knew because of the name. I haven't seen any of those movies. Dominic Toretto. Fast, Fast Five is the best one. Dominic Toretto is. Fast Five is the best one. Yeah. Agreed. Agree. Yeah. Fast Five is the best one. All right, here's the, here's the last one, all right? Last chance, come back. I, I'll, let's just say winner takes all, but that's just to try and see if let's anybody can take this from Edgar. All. Yeah. In this 2006 film, a tiebreaker race for the Piston Cup Championship takes place what between cars. Correct. Ah, oh, very good. Cars. Nice. Lightning McQueen. <laughs> think, right? Yeah, that was, yeah. I never saw it. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen it. I didn't, I didn't get that one. What do you know then? Because I... I don't know. I just did. It made sense to me. <laughs> Mostly because I was really focused on animation in 2006, so yeah. <laughs> really like seeing a lot of stuff, even though I didn't see that. Uh, we want to end with a question that we love to ask people. What's your favorite curse word, and what context do you usually use it? Well, um, here's the thing. is that the, the C word in the United Kingdom is a very harsh word in the UK, and a, a very harsh word in the US. But it can be used as a term of affection in the UK, surprisingly, okay. but with a prefix. So if you say stupid cunt, that's aggressive. But if you say, oh, you silly cunt, that's affectionate. So I would say silly cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for the terrible misogynist language. I know. I, I feel like I, I, my cursing isn't as interesting. I mean, I'd probably just say the F word in a really long, elongated way 
If I like, uh, I've been playing a lot of pool recently. Mm -hmm. If I get robbed of a shot, it goes in the pocket and out. Fuck! Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That makes so sense. Like that. Several U's. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Several U's. That's a good. That's a good usage. Uh, I always go back to the, the the Bernie Mac bit about talking how how the word motherfucker can be used in several parts of speech as an adjective and as a noun and as a verb and all those great things. So I, that's that's uh, that's my favorite one. For me, it's. And this is so stereotypical, but being Latin, obviously, it can't be just one. Because as a woman, you have to say a bunch in Spanish. Yeah. So you're just like, Mete la chingada, cabrón de mierda, te odio, hijo de puta. And so you say like 40 in one wow. sentence. That was yeah. brilliant. And, that, and that's what you do. So I would say I have 50 favorite curse words in Spanish. Right. Well, if the curse word was also a game, you just won. Fastest <laughs> <laughs> speaking curse word ever. Exactly.